Hey, in this lesson, we're gonna draw a really cute- Skunk. Yes, yeah, skunk. It's gonna be a lot of fun. We hope you're gonna follow along with us. We, what do we need? Marker. Marker, and, and what else? paper. <laughs> and some paper. You ready to start? Yes. <laughs> Let's first draw our skunk's eyes, and we're gonna draw ovals. And we're gonna draw them in the middle of our paper, but towards the left so that we have room for his big tail. So we're gonna draw a big oval, like this. And then I'm gonna draw another one over here. We're gonna leave some space, and we're gonna draw another oval. Yeah, usually we draw circles for our eyes, but I thought it would be fun to draw an oval instead. Yes. An oval, this one that we're drawing is tall. Yeah, <laughs> okay, now we're gonna draw a circle in the top right of each oval. And then on the bottom left, we're gonna draw a smaller circle. And this is for the reflection in our skunk's eyes. It makes him look shiny and also friendly. All right, let's color in the big oval, but leave these two small circles white. Now, sometimes we fast forward during the video, right? Yes. And what can our art friends do at home? Pause the video. Yeah, if you need time to color in your eyes, you can pause it and then color in your eyes and then start the video back up. Mm -hmm. All right, let's draw our skunk's nose. And we're going to draw it right here. We're going to draw a little V right in between our eyes. Yep, a small one, and then at the very top, we're gonna connect and then color in the nose. Yeah, just like that. It's just a dot. A little dot. <laughs> now we're gonna draw our skunk's face. We're gonna draw a chin first. So we're gonna draw, we're gonna draw a curve that comes under the mouth and then back up. Well, under the nose. We're gonna leave the mouth off. Chin, 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 chin. Yeah, a little chin. <laughs> okay, right here, we're gonna draw a little zigzag on both sides, okay? Just a little zigzag. And I drew three little bumps. There we go. Now, we're gonna draw a curve that comes up to the top. And we're gonna stop when we get over the eye. So we're gonna draw a little curve that comes up. And this is a lot like our Arctic Fox. Mm -hmm. That was a fun one too. Now, up here, we're gonna draw a little zigzag, but we're gonna draw like this. I'm gonna draw three <laughs> zigzags on top of the head. There you go. <laughs> then we're going to draw a curve that comes back down to the cheek. Kind of looks like a chicken. <laughs> chicken, 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 chicken. Now let's draw our skunk's ears. We're going to draw really big ears. I'm going to draw a curve that comes out on each side. It's going to look like a bunny. Yeah, it looks like it does kind of. Well, right now it looks like a bug. Bug. <laughs> with the antennas. <laughs> All right. Now we're going to draw big curves that come back down. So watch this. We're going to draw a big curve back down. Big curve back down on each side. No, it doesn't. Yeah. All right, now right here on each ear, we're gonna draw, watch this. We're gonna start up here, and we're gonna draw a curve that comes down inside. Eh. And you could actually, there you go. You did it. And we're gonna do the same thing over here on this side. And that's for, yeah, that's for the edge of the ear. Now down here, we're gonna draw another one, but it's gonna be a lot shorter. This makes the ear look 3D. Good. All right, now inside, let's draw some little fuzzy fur inside the ear, on each ear. I'm just gonna draw a little zigzag inside. Perfect. She looks really cute. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna draw a really cute body for our skunk. We're first gonna draw a leg that comes down. And I drew a little curve at the bottom, but you could just draw a straight one if you want, a straight line coming down. Good. Now we're going to draw the curve that comes back up. <laughs> it looks like a stuffed animal. Yeah, it does kind of look like a stuffed animal. <laughs> now we're going to draw another zigzag for the fur on our chest. And we could draw another foot on the front so she looks 3D. We're going to draw a curve that comes out, down, and then back into the foot. Almost looks like we're drawing an Eevee too from yeah. Pokemon. <laughs> okay, now let's draw our belly. We're gonna draw a curve that comes up and we draw it really short. We don't wanna draw it too long. There we go. And then let's draw our back foot. We're gonna draw a U that comes down <laughs> and back up. <laughs> I love so damn Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now let's draw, let's finish her body. We're gonna finish by drawing right here from her back leg and then we're gonna connect it into her body. Yeah, 
Now let's make her look 3D. We gotta draw another leg. All right, now we need to give her toes. I'm gonna draw two little curves on each foot and actually one on this back one, two back here, and then one on this other one. I want to draw two. Oh, you can if you want. And then one down. <laughs> yeah, if you have room, you can add two. Okay, well now what are we missing on our skunk? The tail. Yeah, the stinkiest part. <laughs> okay, we're gonna start right here. We're gonna draw really big up past her ears, but we also need to draw an S line. So we're gonna start right here on her bum. We're gonna draw a curve that comes out like this. Watch this, and then it's gonna come back the other way, right by her ear, and then we're gonna curve back again. Oh my goodness. Whoa, it almost looks like a big question mark. <laughs> Is that cool? So we'll start right here. We're gonna curve around her head and then back towards her ear and then curve back down. Okay. So go first go around her head. We're gonna start here, go out. Yep, back in. Yes, and then start curving. And then back down. You did it, good job. <laughs> now we're gonna draw the other side of our tail. So we're gonna start right here. And watch this, I'm gonna get further away from the tail. Oh, is that cool? Mm -hmm. So we're gonna start, yep, start there, and then we'll come all the way up here. Curve around, I get further away as you get higher. Yeah. Nice, you did it. Okay, now right here, watch this. We're gonna curve down like this, and then I'm gonna curve back the other way. Come down, keep coming down. Yeah. And then you can start curving out. And then right here at the end, you can curve out this way. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Okay, now right here, we're gonna curve back into the tail. Okay, now we still need to draw the little stripe on our tail. So we're gonna draw a, we're gonna draw a curve right here on her back. Just a short little U shape. Yeah. And then we're also gonna draw the curve going over her tail. So we're gonna draw a big S curve also. It's gonna come up, curve around, and then, whoa, is that tricky? <laughs> it's like the tiny version of the tail. Yes, it is. It's just like the outside of the tail. This line that we first drew, we're just gonna draw it again, inside. Yep, go around. It's really fun to draw, isn't it? Mm -hmm. You did it. <laughs> All right, now we're gonna draw the little stripe on her head too. We're gonna start right here, and we're gonna draw a V, comes down, and I'm gonna draw it curved at the bottom and back up. So it's not pointy at the bottom. All right, we did it. We finished drawing our skunks and yours turned out super cute. <laughs> Except we still need to do one last thing. What is it? Color. Yeah, we need to color her. She's gonna look awesome when we're all done. Mm -hmm. All right, now this part we're gonna fast forward, but at the end, you guys can pause it to match the same color. You ready to fast forward? Yeah. coloring our skunks that was a lot of black wasn't it did it make your fingers sore yes you can always stretch them out like this you can open and <laughs> stretch them out like this and then squeeze them Whoa. my favorite part about your skunk is that you left your little feet white i wish i did that on my skunk <laughs> we hope you had a lot of fun coloring your skunks with us yes we do we hope you had a lot of fun and it's okay if your drawings don't look exactly like ours because the most important thing is to have fun yeah to have fun and to <laughs> And we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. If you had fun following along in this lesson, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking the circle. Then you can click the bell to get notified every time we upload new videos. I've also picked out these two other lessons I thought you'd really enjoy. Don't forget to take a photo of your child's finished artwork and share it on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter because we want to see how awesome it turned out.